All right, so first of all, sorry I can't get more creative with a lot of these shots and I just keep wearing these same polos. I know, I'm just kind of boring now. I'm in the car quite a bit. I'm outside of just building complexes. Oh, there's somebody, I don't know them. So I just finished with a networking group. I talked to a bunch of businesses, something I do uh, actually on a weekly basis. Uh, that's what I do on my Tuesdays. I go to a hospital, meet a networking group, do all that kind of stuff. It's kind of fun. And then I'm um, actually, I've been in the office, uh, had a couple meetings, just now leaving the office to go to do some outside sales. So go talk to new businesses, add in some new areas that I haven't been. I'm just looking forward to uh, exploring Canyon Lake. Be with someone again today. He'll be riding shotgun right here. All right, so I'm back to wearing my uh, Wondering Why shirt instead of work. So I'm, uh, I guess back to being a Wondering Why again. I don't know. I'm actually here at the store uh, making some food for Blair tonight. I have to go over some uh, some loan stuff for the house with my parents. And then actually from there, it should be good to have sort of a good good night with Blair. That's kind of a, a first in a couple days. But yesterday was just hectic. I didn't get back until like 9 or 10. That was a full day of, of just working, just doing everything I do. So. Uh, today's a little early. I guess I still have to write some content for the new row websites, but that's just that's that is life It shouldn't take me long at all 10 20 minutes. I'm just gonna try to Rest with Blair because it sounds like she's been resting all day I don't even think she filmed much today, but I just want to eat with her. Just go eat get some fudge uh, Spend some time with the boys the, the puppies. That's my day. I need to do a little bit more work on the RV as well uh, It's gonna rain pretty bad. Apparently it's gonna be another uh, thunderstorm so thunder Hail, small chance of tornado, and lightning. All the things that Blair loves. But by the way, that's not, yeah, that's not really, I, I lied. She hates all of that. So she'll probably have a little panic attack going to labor early. Maybe Eva's coming soon. Get your toy, get it. What do you have? What do you have? <laughs> Can't decide which one. Oh, that's a good one. You picked a good one. Let me see it. Let me see. Let me see. What are you doing, buds? What are you doing? All right, guys. So I'm sitting here editing this vlog that y'all are watching. And um, it's actually the next morning. But for the sake of keeping things cohesive, we're just going to pretend it's the same day. So I didn't film anything. Um, I know that Matt didn't get a whole lot of footage um, because he's just been, he's been so busy lately with sales, which is great. It's really, really good because they're actually training somebody new. So he's going to have somebody to be able to take over whenever the baby comes. So he won't have to worry as much about keeping sales up for the company. This guy is kind of shadowing him so that he can take over for, um, you know, times whenever Matt might have to take off. Because not just right after the baby comes, but, you know, say if I get sick or the baby gets sick or we have to go into Austin for appointments or things like that. It's going to be a lot harder for him to try and juggle everything. So it's going to be really good to have somebody um, be able to continue with sales if he's not able to put in 100% like he's been able to do for the last seven, eight years at that company. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, didn't do, I didn't do a whole lot yesterday. Gym in the morning actually felt pretty good in the morning. So I went to the gym, I ended up only doing three exercises and then I foam rolled and did some stretching. And then I was gonna go to Target, but I didn't feel up for it. I think more so just mentally. I've noticed that as the due date gets closer, I'm becoming more and more I think mentally tired and I don't know if it's because of just worry about birth and getting everything ready and having a space here and then getting a space at my parents ready and then still worrying about the house. Brady, you don't need to go in there yet. Um, just getting everything ready for the baby and I think a lot of it is just, it's it's normal worry, you know, it's it's normal anxieties. Just wanting everything to be as as ready as it can be, but then also knowing that it's not going to be ready at the same time. So I've become more and more just kind of mentally fatigued. And I, I think I'm also realizing that I need to take a lot of time to rest between now and the baby because it's going to be so hectic whenever she does come. So I've been okay with taking more time off and that's, of course been taking more time off with filming so that's why I'm kind of relying on Matt to get some footage um 
But then of course if he doesn't, that's fine. I know it's it's not going to be, um, we're not going to be able to have daily vlogs every single day. But I did want to sit down and just kind of chat with you guys and just update y'all on where I'm at. Um, because I've always tried to do that on this channel. And I think that in the last year or so, we kind of got away from it because I started putting pressure on myself to be more of an exciting travel channel. Whenever we did travel, you know, of course, views went up. You guys were more in engaged in the comments. We brought on more subscribers, so it was exciting. So I was thinking that that's the only thing that y'all wanted to see. But that's not why I started this channel. That's not what I had hoped for with this channel. My goal with YouTube is always just to show life. Just to document our life and show the ups and the downs and connect with others despite the lulls in our life. Um, not that we have a lull going on right now, it's just not the most exciting in terms of like travel and scenery and we don't have all of these exciting updates as far as like RV life and things like that go. And I think a lot of it is I, I do watch a lot of the, the other RV travel channels, just travel channels in general, and I get... I get focused on trying to be something that, that we're not. And I see how exciting their footage is and they've got their drone and like all of this stuff. And it's just, that's not us. You know, we show you guys the daily life, all of the aspects of this pregnancy and living in a tiny home and trying to build a home at the same time while a husband is juggling several different endeavors and jobs. And there's a lot. There's a lot going on. You might notice that I'm a, I'm a little breathless. It's kind of hard to breathe at this point, so I apologize for that. I think that these daily vlogs has helped me to bring back that core message, at least to myself, of the channel, and hopefully to you guys, because it seems that y'all are really enjoying them. Those of you that are watching them have been enjoying them, and I really, really enjoy... I'm gonna keep saying enjoy, but I really, really like interacting with y'all in the comments about just our day-to-day -day life and hearing about y'all's day-to-day life because I know that we don't all live these exciting non-stop travel <laughs> lifestyles where we only show the good. You know, we're gonna show y'all the in-between. And I think right now I'm just, I'm dealing with a lot of that in-between. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm building a human. That's, that's kind of a big deal, but it's also hard to remember that whenever I'm trying to put content out there. And so, yeah, I think it's just, it's been really helpful for me just to remind myself of why I love YouTube so much and why I started this channel initially years and years ago is to connect with you guys on just a normal human level <laughs> and not get too caught up in trying to be flashy and trying to be overly entertaining and trying to show a life that we're not, you know, we're it's it's not for us. We're not one of those families that travels all the time and everything's super exciting and really happy all the time. There's a lot of there's a lot of work that goes on in between the good moments and we try to show you all that normal life, you know? <laughs> and we have we have good moments and we have bad moments and I think that today I'm kind of having like a rough time and I'm getting a little teary eyed. A lot of this is the pregnancy. I've got a lot of hormones and emotions going on. Um, I've already cried twice today. <laughs> but it's just, um, you know, showing a lot of what makes us us. We might not do a whole lot of wandering in a sense of physical wandering, but there's a lot going on. And I think that we do wander through life quite a bit. Um, and, and I think my biggest goal is just to show y'all that even with tough times and lulls, there's still so much good that can be seen and loved and embraced in every single moment. And just focusing on moving forward and focusing on the positives, I think is the best thing that I've ever learned to do. Because I used to be negative all the time. I used to be pretty negative, at least in my head. And it's not something that I've ever kind of shown outward. Um, but having anxiety and and having dealt with um, you know, little bouts of depression that go along with anxiety. I say they go hand in hand. Uh, I tend to be very negative in my head. Focusing on the positives. We have so many positives going on right now that I just can't, I can't spend more than a few minutes being negative because there are so many good things going on. And I don't want y'all to think that I'm, I'm not happy because I am. I just have moments in this pregnancy where I, 
I kind of, it's, it's a lot of this. It's a lot of ups and downs. There's a lot of spiraling. And then I get out of it. And then Matt helps me get out of it. And um, so yeah, I don't know what this is all about. Just a, just a YouTube therapy session, I guess. That's going to be it for today's vlog. I don't, I don't know what else to add. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.